Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with object 705. What a beautiful this vehicle is and I must admit fellas I sent last time I had a video with this vehicle was back in 2020 October 19th. So pretty much two and a half years without video with this vehicle. I'm ashamed of myself. Okay, hear me out. Uh, what do I recommend to use where the gun goes? I would recommend to play with 440 alpha damage gun. And the main reason being why do I recommend this gun? Because it has a perfect combination of the things. Aka, you have APCRs as a standard, you have heat as a gold. It is just beautiful, nothing can beat it. Obviously the secondary choice or the secondary gun would be IS-7 gun for 90 alpha damage, but I just simply do not think that is the right gun to use. And we are going to start everything kind of uniquely in this game. We are going to clear 8 line. I know it might sound weird skill, can you even clear the 8 line and oh boy oh boy I can. Usually there is a paper tank destroyers playing here or alternatively uh, light tanks as you can see yourself. And our main mission is going to be to eliminate every single of them. And I am very very well aware of that that we can actually do this. Right? As an example this guy noticed that in time that he needs to run for his life because if he won't is pretty much dead meat. Same goes for this budget. This budget, he is not feeling great here, I can promise you that, because all I need to do, I need to reach this position here, I will turn to the right and budget is screaming uh, um, and definitely enjoying himself. Watch this, fellas. Budget is saying, I'm safe, I'm safe. Oh, yes, this is exactly what I need. This is exactly what I need. Yes, I have a tank playing in the medium line. Re I can I can feel his disappointment, but um, that's the right way to do the things. You know, sometimes you do not really need to go into the heavy line in order to have uh, um, great success or in order to play the game well. You know, not everything needs to go through the book. Heavy tank must play in banana. Uh, tank destroyer must knife from the back. No, you are creating the rules and you can do whatever you want to do, right, fellas? So keep this in mind. Anyways, I have a feeling we can simply push in front and we can uh, make sure enemies are going to enjoy their day, if you know what I mean. Blink, blink. So let's do this. Uh, now, where is the Kunze sitting at? Did he completely escape or not really? Soon we are going to figure this out and meanwhile we have, you know what, this is, this is probably a stupid thing from my side to do, but I'm up to take the risk. I am going to make a hardcore pressure against the Fosh 155. Now, what is so dangerous for making pressure against the Fosh 155? Well, maybe because this guy can clip me out in 10 seconds. That doesn't sound very very good and very fun don't you think so but we are up to take the risk and we are up to check out how thick is his uh, um, cupolas right this gentleman cannot do absolutely anything obviously so we are simply going to send him back to the garage <laughs> or alternatively we are going to miss our shot so he is going to kill our panther too which is quite unfortunate but let it be and now we can make pressure like this. By the way, Kunze is speaking. Kunze doesn't know I know, okay? And since I know, Kunze is going back to the garage. That was close one. Close one to send him straight to the garage, but oh well. Anyways, and all we need to do at this point, we need to make um, as much pressure as we physically and possibly can, right? Simple as this. Yes, this art is annoying. I am very, very, very well aware of him. Uh, and yes, it's it's definitely not, not the thing which I want to do, Aka, to feed enemy art, but it is how it is. We are okay. Uh, meanwhile, Buzza did not penetrate our side with a high explosives or golden high explosives, but oh well, kind of well deserved. And Arta without keyboard. Ay, 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 ay. Good. Good. You know what? I'm willing to take Opal for the team if after that we can spank the living crap out of this gentleman. And at this point, we are 
Okay, at this point we are capping the base, believe me or not. That's what we are doing. Hear me out. I want enemies to start panicking and to go back for a base defense. This is exactly what I want to do. So, doing this, they will uh, they will start thinking. They, they will start questioning their life choices. OMG, maybe it's better to go back for a base defense and whatnot. And don't get me wrong. At this point, I do not really think I want to cap. Uh, I do not want to cap them out, right? But I want to annoy them. That is going to be more than enough, at least for now. And look, at this point, we know Ru and Baza both of them are going to make pressure like this so this is exactly what we want to see and we are going to say hello for this mr Bzz. no mr Bzz, how are you doing you are using the turbo booster good 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 i'm still feeling very very well and i think i'm dropping down the biggest problem what could happen for us is this Ru uh, obviously loading gold and penetrating us every with every single shot but um, there is a big chance this gentleman won't know what he is doing and if it is the case we are farming here for days. Meanwhile Baza is down to fartable, good we can claim his life in approximately 3 to 1 now. <laughs> Oh, so unlucky. So unlucky, fellas. So unlucky. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this guy should have been dead, okay? But it is how it is. Let's accept this and let's go for a base defense somehow. Okay. If I need to guess what will happen now, I would not act surprised if this Ru would actually make a turn like this and whatnot, and he would go for a for a base defense in this way. And 60 TP is attacking. Now we need to go for a base defense. Let's do that. By the way, I forgot to have one setting on, which is to check out hit points whenever pressing Alt. Oh, now we are booming. And now we can play. This is very unusual game overall. I would definitely say that. Um, it is kind of... It is kind of weird considering how much we are traveling in this game, right? I believe uh, I believe every and each of you would agree with me. I started everything from the um, uh, from the medium line or the tank destroyer line, however you would call this. I went to the enemy base. I tried to cap it out. I slaughtered Art. I slaughtered other mother truckers. And now we are going for a base defense. So quite, quite an interesting game to be fair with you. And you know what is the most important thing? The game is actually close. It's not like it is, um, it is easy victory or or easy defeat. You know, it is actually pretty close game. So that is very much appreciated. Okay, slowly but surely we are going to go like so. And my goal is to eliminate this 60 dp one on one. Is it going to be easy? More likely not. But we will try to do our best. Hmm. Smart, he's playing hold down and uh, and that bloody Ru wants to get involved as well. If he is going to be smart, he is going to drop down here. If he is going to be smart, he might drop down here and he might go for me. It doesn't really matter at this point, I am kind of chilling. Okay, beautiful shot. Now he might mess this up and he didn't. Ay, 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 ay. Not very happy how everything ended, but let it be. I need to accept this and I need to say, fine, fair enough. Fair enough. You got me, bro. You got me. Now, this Ru, obviously, he can easily eliminate our Vaka. He has, uh, uh, he has time to do whatever he wants. He might pick like this, or if he is um, very, very smart, he will try to approach him like this. Then he will go like this, and he will pick like this, because no one would uh, be prepared for that, right? So, in the end of the day, it is very, very, very depending on, on the situation. Okay. Ru is in the middle, apparently. Okay. 
Rus pank in the building. Come on. Come on. You got this, my man. You got this. One second. No. Ah, one second. One second. Yeah, I think the mistake from my side was to go on that 60 TP. I was greedy for damage. I must admit that. I kind of wanted my top gun, you know, to start everything with a bang. But unfortunately, I throw this. Uh, not exactly what I want to say, but that's what we have. You know what? It happens. It happens. You know what killed Baboon, fellas? Greediness. Greediness killed Baboon. So, look at this situation. What do we have? We have uh, 4.6 thousand damage, 5 kills. I am feeling very, very great with this performance, but it doesn't change the fact that this buzzer was lucky. So he took uh, 700 hit points from our guy, even though we supposed to penetrate him. But it is how it is, right? And in the end of the day, um, I was too aggressive against this guy or too greedy against this guy. And this Rue is obviously MVP. He captured the base and he won the battle for himself. So kudos to him. Anyways, that's only the first game. We have two more to go. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, guys, round number two, Pearl River. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Now, speaking about going to the heavy line, I do not, I'm not particularly a big fan of it. The main reason being is uh, the gun depression of this tank is far away from being ideal. So, you know what? I am, I will do completely different thing. I am going to play for a nonsense. How about this? We are going to go towards the base. I like to mix up my stuff once in a while. Obviously, I cannot promise how the things will look like. It might go very, very good or it might go, well, as usual. Obviously, I'm messing with you. Listen, uh, we are going to take this upper ground here. Hopefully, we will outspot the, the tank destroyers and hopefully we can spank the living crap out of them. The main reason why am I not playing in the middle is quite straightforward. Um, I'm not playing in the middle because um, it's just simply not worth it, right? Because those two artists will rain on me forever and ever. And I just simply cannot afford this. So instead of doing that, we are going to cross here at first. And after that, I might even make a hardcore pressure for Gusor and the Bachat. I do not really think they can actually stop me normally and they can, you know, beat the living crap out of me. I really doubt this is how the things are going to look like. Um, and we have E50 and we have Leo, you know, I believe, I believe both of our guys they are going to follow us whenever uh, whenever the time will come, right? I am politely asking to go like this. Come on. We need we need to go, boys. We need to go. It's, there is no time to rest. There is no time to consider life choices. Go. Go, 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 guys. Just go. Okay, beautiful. We are using our meat, okay? I'm feeling like a Wagyu of this game. And I am trying to impress our team, okay? This is what I am doing. This one for us, this sweet, sweet, sweet position. So now we can get even closer to the enemies. Obviously, the worst part of all this, the enemies have the middle overall, but it doesn't really change absolutely anything. Look at this Leo. He's saying, ay, 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 ay. He's dropping down and he did that successfully. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Look how fast they are screaming and running for their life. Take this. Unfortunately, I failed doing so. And Arta relocated. By the way, you know what is the funnest thing? The main reason why I decided not to play in the middle was because. The main reason why I decided not to play in the middle was because of those artists, right? Uh, and uh, yeah, little did I knew Arta will relocate. Okay, that is that is such a disgusting game, unfortunately. Not much what I can change about this, and I am taking one for the team, like heavily, right? I'm not giving up. I am going to fight till the last moment of this game, but for now it was uh, it was looking pretty disgusting. But you know what? A bit of the side scrapping, a bit uh, of the games against this Leo one, and hopefully we are going to be just fine. Snapshot like so beautiful. Can you f off, you son of the banana? Fellas, I'm simple guy. I'm taking one for the team from the Arta. Fine. I'm taking one for the team from Arta again. 
fine. I'm taking third for the team from the Arta. My eyebrow starts twitching. You know, I there is limited amount of the stuff which I can take from the Arta, considering how hard it is to play with this class. So yeah. Anyways, when we have this out of the way, we are enjoying minus eleven thousand. Hit points deficit, uh, and yeah, we lost most of our hit points for the Arta, which is not ideal, but it is how it is. I'm still holding it. I'm trying to be patient, you know, I'm trying to do as much as I physically and possibly can. But there is one bad thing. Skill, what is that bad thing? Well, you see, this Leo can get involved. Whenever Leo will go here, it's going to be very, very, very bad. And obviously, I don't even want to pick like this, to be completely honest with you. I kind of want to cross like so, but I think this is going to be super risky and definitely not worth it. So I'm afraid. Going back is not an option either. Yeah, I think I need to I need to be patient and I just simply need to wait for, until enemies will make some mistakes. Uh, that's all I got and that's all we can do. Okay, this guy is dropping down. Beautiful. He is dead. By the way, this gun, this 440 alpha damage is absolutely amazing. And like I said in the first video, APCRs are the way to go, you know, speaking about the, uh, speaking about the longer range shots. The shell velocity is nice, it's easy to pre-aim, penetration is decent enough, everything is looking fine. And you have plenty of armor as well. You cannot say this tank is an armored pile of caco or something. By the way, whenever this guy will... Where were we? Oh yeah, we were playing the game. Absolutely glorious. So what am I waiting, fellas? I am waiting until enemies will try to make at least a bit of pressure so I can spank them. Oh, Fosh B. Okay, big boy. I see. Well, the thing is, art is coming. you know? I cannot avoid this and I cannot run from this. There is no chance. He has approximately... Okay, fellas, I must admit I lost quite some brain cells uh, in this game. That was very, very, very sad, to be completely honest with you. That wasn't enjoyable, but it is how it is. Anyways, two art... You know what is the funniest thing? Those artists pretty much did damage only to me. <laughs> okay, fine, fair play. Anyways, what we have? 2,000 damage, 700 assisting damage. We are, se uh, we are third by experience. We are fifth by the damage. And we got uh, 5,000 profits. That was brain damaging second game, but it's okay. Let's go for a third one and let's go for the best. Okay, guys, for a last game, what do we have? We have a highway and we have a standard battle. Um, that last game spanked me very, very well in the face and I will try to recover my brain, if you know what I mean. But that was a complicated one. Anyways, in my humble opinion, in the highway, there is only one play which you can do with a heavy tank, right? Believe me or not. And that one play is to take this position here. Now, the main reason why am I saying so is... You are getting support from the sniper schnitzels here, if obviously not everyone is going here to the red line. But usually you have some tank destroyers or medium tank sniping. And you are relatively in the open field uh, speaking uh, speaking where you are playing, you know. So enemies are, are very, very attracted to you and they try to peek like this, like this or like this. And then you are booming and then you are having the best time of your life, right? Meanwhile, um, Tiger, well, what can I say? Unfortunate, mate, unfortunate. Fellas, you are missing every single shot you are not taking. Keep this in mind. So... Shooting on the move, fine, why not, if you have no time to aim, right, or you need to arrive to position quickly, or something, take it. I mean, what do you have to lose? Oh, boys, <laughs> hi. Hi there, uh, how are you doing? Now both of them are thinking, ay, 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 Love me, love me, love me, love me. Good. I'm trying to make a complicated angle for him to penetrate. Don't you worry about this. 
Good, very, very good. Now I am losing just way too many hit points. This is not... Oh, I was waiting for you. How are you doing this fine day? I thought so. You are enjoying yourself. Now pay attention how many sniper schnitzels do we have in the back. We have at least standard B and we have Type 59 and we have um, chance that our sniper will join us as well. Uh, fine, fair enough. Where is exactly Arta sitting at? He is sitting probably somewhere here on top. I would guess... And that's fine. Look, I sacrificed two thirds of. I sacrificed two thirds of my hit points to arrive here and to have what I have at this point. And you know what? I have a feeling this is pretty good trade. And I'm telling you, enemies are looking at you like, uh, like you would be um, a red cloth, you know? And enemies are behaving like a bulls. Enemy? So close to us? This is how it looks like. I'm not even joking, fellas. And what I noticed, I noticed that my success ratio in this position is very, very good. Aka, usually I have extremely strong game whenever I'm playing here, just because um, people are just simply trying to beat the living crap out of me, and this is clearly not worth it, right? This is the thing. To the neck. Good. Now... How to beat the living crap out of the tank destroyers in the back? This is the question. I think Arta relocated. Do I want to make pressure or do I want to snipe? Making pressure, I can get a lot of assisting damage, but I can die from one shot from ISU. And by sniping, I can get a lot of a lot of things done. Plus, budget never ever spotted. If I need to bet, budget should sit somewhere over there. You know what? I risk it for the biscuit. We will see how the things will look like. I assume. Okay, he's behind the building, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, I believe you are paying attention how am I uh, making pressure here. I'm not going through the open field as our team does. I am going through the line of the bushes. Now, the main reason why am I doing this is not to get spotted and not to take as much attention uh, at myself as, let's say, Caliban or whoever else when Deer does. Now, this is important thing to say, fellas. Meanwhile, Char Futur, Char Futur actually can farm easily. Hopefully he won't. Well, relying on the hope at this point. No? Beautiful. Once again, this gun can hit, fellas. I'm telling you. If I am saying the tank is beautiful and the tank is nice, I truly mean it. Meanwhile, remember that light tank, high explosive one? My first prediction was the light tank is sitting here. Sir, reevaluate your life choices, please. <laughs> Poor light tank. Great. This is, this is a good game. I think execution was there. I think the plan was there. And overall, the play was, uh, was good as well. Maybe trades with the medium tanks was kind of silly, but I saw that uh, we have uh, pretty solid chances to uh, win against the enemies, right? Without uh, without too much of the hustle, so why not to share my hit points a bit with the enemies? What do you think about that? And last shot of this game, beautiful. Very, very, very nice game, and once again, I think execution was there and the score is there as well. Let's see the score. And we are back, fellas. First class, steel wall, high caliber, beautiful game overall. I'm super happy about this. 4.4 thousand damage and 2,000 assisting damage. Overall, very, very, very strong game. And this is why I highly recommend to take this position. Obviously... This position can be countered from the enemy base if enemy tank destroyers know what they are doing. But usually, um, what I noticed, it doesn't work this way. And once again, fellas, just to highlight, you saw how the gun was behaving on this tank. And I truly appreciate it. Even though on the paper... This gun, well, more alpha damage, a bit more penetration with the standard rounds. Don't be tricked, fellas. Uh, the 440 alpha damage is the way to go and the way to play this game. And hopefully, fellas... Um I reminded you about the 705. If you haven't played with this vehicle, uh, 
please do. It is very, very nice tank. It's great for doing blocking missions and whatnot. Uh, and overall, it is a pure satisfaction to play in the city maps or whenever you are hold down, especially with this gun. And for now, fellas, thank you very much for watching. I hope you were very, very well entertained and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.